Hello developers, in this video I am going to explain how to upload your Android app for internal app sharing, which is an easiest way to share the app bundles and APKs with your internal team for testing. But first of all, why do we need this new feature called internal app sharing when we already have the internal closed and open test tracks? To understand that, you need to watch this video completely. Hello friends, welcome back to Ireka Tech Solutions. There are some minor differences between internal app sharing and the testing tracks which makes huge impact on app testing for Android developers. Unlike internal closed and open test tracks, the uploaded build files for internal app sharing can be signed with any key and don't need to be signed with a production or upload key. Version codes don't need to be new or unique for app bundles or APKs that you upload in internal app sharing. You can reuse version codes. You can upload and share debuggable app bundles or APKs for your testing because these build files are not going to be published. The uploaded app bundle for internal app sharing is immediately available to your testers because of no Google review at this stage. And mainly with this internal app sharing, you can allow anyone whom you share the link with to download the app on their devices not restricted to only testers email lists. You can simply share the test link to download for testing. And also the last important point is anyone added to the uploader's list can access internal app sharing to upload build files. This is useful if you are having a team of developers working on the same project. Hope you understood the advantages of internal app sharing. Now let me explain how to use this feature to test our Android apps. First, let's see how to use internal app sharing for published apps. So you have an app published to Play Store. Now you have done some changes to your app and wanted to quickly share the app to your testers, colleagues or friends for testing the app. In this case, you can go for internal app sharing. Log into your Google Play console. Select the app that you wanted to test. In the left side menu, go to release section. Under setup, select internal app sharing. In the first tab, you can manage uploaders and testers. If you are working as a team and you would want to give access to your team members to upload build files for testing the app, then you can add their email addresses here so that in your absence they can directly open internal app sharing page and upload the app bundles for testing by logging in using their email ids and in the second tab you can add downloaders who can download the app for testing these email lists are the same list that you have added initially for close testing if you want you can add the new list also here now when it comes to the testers you can choose who can download and install the shared apps. If you want to restrict the access to only email list, then select this or else you can select the first option if you want anyone you share the link can download the app. I am selecting the first one so that I need not worry about adding my testers email IDs. Click on save changes. Allow anyone? Yes. Now let us upload the build for internal app sharing. Click on this link. I have already uploaded a build version 1.5 but now I have done some changes and uploading the next version. If you want you can reuse the version. Ok, let's wait for the build to upload. Ok, give the version name. By default it is taking my app version number but if you want you can update this to identify your build file because in a team everybody are uploading the same version builds then they can identify the each build uniquely by changing the version name. Ok, after changing the version name click on upload. Yes, the app bundle is successfully uploaded to internal app sharing. Now you can share this app with your testers by copying this link. You can use any media to share this link with your testers like WhatsApp, messages or emails. I have sent this link to my email and I am accessing it from my mobile to install. So I already have the production app installed on my device from Play Store. Now I want to install this app sharing builder. 
go to gmail this is the app link uploaded to internal app sharing click on this it opens play store app oh internal app sharing is turned off this problem i have already solved in my video to fix this problem open play store app on your device select the image on top right corner here click on settings go to about tap seven times on play store version you get a message like this you are now a developer now go to general click on developer options and toggle the button for internal app sharing turn on internal app sharing yes turn on okay now come back and open the link once again A public version of this app is already installed on this device. Uninstall it and try again. Okay, you can't install the internal app sharing build when you already have the production app installed on your device. So uninstall the app from the device. Now come back and click on the link once again. Yes, this app is an internal test version that has been shared with you. Okay, click on install. Got a message, install internally shared app. Yes, click on install. Yes, it started downloading the app onto the device. So this way you can share the test builds easily with your testers by using internal app sharing feature. No need to join or leave the beta programs and no need to worry about adding email lists like for internal and closed test tracks. Just upload the build and share the links. Anyone who has the link can download the app onto their devices. Now let's see how to use internal app sharing for new apps. First create the app bundle file for your project. If you don't know how to create the signed AAP file then please watch this video. I have clearly explained the procedure on creating new key store file and the signed AAB file. I will give the link in the description box. So this is my app bundle file created for testing. Now let's go to play console. Click on create app. Write app name and mention other details. Accept the declarations. Then click on create app. Ok app has been created. In the dashboard, you can see the list of tasks you need to finish in order to publish your app to Play Store. But my app is not yet ready to be published, it is still in initial testing phase. So I wanted to use internal app sharing to share this first app build with my testers. So go to setup, click on internal app sharing, here selecting the testers. Anyone with the link can download my app and clicking on save changes. Hello? Now go to internal app sharing page. Trying to upload the AAB file created for my new project. Oh, you don't have permission to use internal app sharing for this package. This might be because Google Play Console could not identify my package to accept internal app sharing build. So I hope we should first upload our app at least one of these testing tracks so that play console could identify this new app package name ok let's finish the setup first complete the store listing page update click on set up your store listing update these store listing details all these details you need to keep them beforehand when you are ready to publish your app to understand the release prerequisites please watch this video on how to publish android app to play store so here I am copying all the required data quickly. Once everything was updated, click on save. Now go to dashboard. Okay, setup of store listing was done. Now quickly upload the build for internal testing. Hope we can minimum have our app published to internal testing to identify the package. Select testers. Create new release. Choose signing key and use Google generated key which is recommended. Now upload the build file. 
If you want to understand more about internal testing track, then please watch this video. You get a clear explanation on how to upload the build for internal test track. Ok, update release name and release notes and click on next. There are some warnings but I am ignoring them for now. Click on save and publish. So, my app was uploaded to internal testing and the app is available to internal testers immediately because Google review will not be done at this testing phase. So, the app status is draft in internal testing. Okay, now let's try uploading the build for internal app sharing. Select the app, go to internal app sharing page, drop the build file. Oh, again error. The app with this package needs to be published before you can use internal app sharing. Okay, that means our app has to be published for Google approval. Only then we can use internal app sharing. Let's go to publishing overview. We have updated the store listing page but we cannot send them for review. The option is disabled. To send changes for review, complete the required steps in the app dashboard. Ok, go to dashboard. I think we need to finish the setup completely to send the app changes for review. Ok, let's start with the store settings. How to complete this app setup, I have already explained in detail on how to publish the Android app to Play Store video. Please check that. I will give the link in the description box. Here I am fast forwarding the whole setup process. Yes, setup was done and the finished setup task was removed from dashboard. Only close testing and production are pending. Ok, now go to publishing overview. Oh, still the option send app for review was disabled. Go to dashboard. It is still unreviewed. And without the app review, we cannot upload the build to internal app sharing. So, the only way to get the Google review done for our app is publishing the app for close testing. So, quickly finish the setup for close testing track. Select countries and regions. I am selecting only India because all my testers are only from India. Click on save. Next, select testers. For now, I am selecting my limited close testers list and save. Now create and roll out the release. If you want you can create a new release, preview and confirm and send the release for Google review. But here I don't want to upload a new build, I want to promote my internal testing build only to the close testing track. Select close testing alpha. Ok, the same app version from internal testing was taken for close testing also. Click next. Click on save. Go to publishing overview. Ok, go to overview. Oh, one issue found, view issues. Ok, incomplete advertising ID declaration. Ok, complete the declaration but it was not part of the app setup process in dashboard. Ok, does your app use advertising ID? My app is not integrated with any ads SDK. So, I am selecting no here. Click on save. Go to overview. Yes, your changes can now be sent for review. Send 11 changes for review. Send changes for review. Ok, all the store listing data and declarations along with close testing build was sent for review. Now let's wait for review update. Then we can try internal app sharing. After Google's review, my app has been published to close testing. 
I uploaded the bill to close testing on June 6th and it got published on June 9th. It took 3 days to get the review done by Google. Ok, now let's try internal app sharing. Select app, click on the option internal app sharing, go to internal app sharing page, upload the bundle file. Ok, no errors, changing the version name, click on upload. Yes, my app build was uploaded to internal app sharing. So this means the app has to be published to at least close testing track in order to use the internal app sharing feature. This I would have just told you internal app sharing can be allowed only to the published apps but I wanted to clearly show you the procedure to access internal app sharing to upload the build for a new app and the errors we receive on different stages of app upload to internal app sharing. Now we can copy this link and share to the testers for testing. And this procedure is same, testers has to use this link to download the app. Click on the link, it opens the app in play store, click on install, accept internally shared app to install on the device. This will install the test build onto the device. Hope you could completely understand how to use internal app sharing for the app testing and the differences between the internal app sharing for published apps and the internal app sharing for new apps. Now I will tell some important points to know before uploading files for internal app sharing. You are authorized to upload app bundles and APKs for internal app sharing only for the published apps. Internal app sharing can be accessed by Play Console account owner and the uploaders added through email list. You can upload the bundles with same versioning many times. See the same build is uploaded twice. Download links expire 60 days after the upload date. So, to download the app after expiry date, you need to upload the same app bundle or APK again to receive a new link. Maximum of 100 users can download your app using this internal app sharing link. So, to share the app with more users, upload the same app bundle and share the new download link with your testers. Hope you like my explanation on internal app sharing. If yes, please like the video, comment and subscribe to IRECA Tech Solutions. Thank you.